Hey guys, Jafar here. This video is going to cover the basics of building on Rust and how to safely and quickly get your first base started. You'll want to first gather the resources necessary for building your first base. These resources will mainly be wood and stone, but you'll also want to gather metal ore to later cook up and build better items. You will also want to collect cloth and animal fat or low grade to later build items necessary for the base. Now it's time to build your hammer and building plan. The building plan will set you back 20 wood while the hammer will cost 100 wood. The hammer will later be used to upgrade the base to a stronger material while the building plan will be used to lay the foundations and framework for the base. To use the building plan you must equip it on your hotbar. Once you have the planner equipped, hold right click to open the building wheel. This wheel will let you select all the different types of structures you can place down. You'll want to only focus on foundations, walls, floors and doorways since we'll only be using these to build our first base. Once you have your resources and tools ready, you will need to find a suitable location to build your base. But before we decide that, we must first understand why we will be building this first base. The purpose of the first base is to protect and store our resources which will be later going towards our bigger and better base. The first base is meant to be left behind, so there is no point in building it big and wasting time and resources on it. So now we know that this first base is only just a stepping stone to our eventual big base, so we can now proceed in finding a location for it. You're going to want to build near where you will eventually set up your main base. There is no point in building on one side of the map and having to haul all your items across the map because you decided to build your main base far away. So when picking your first base location, think about the area you are in and if it has any future value. Also, it would be good to build near the outpost. This will allow you to make valuable trades for items which will help you throughout the game. You can learn more about the outpost on my Getting Started tutorial. So now we have covered the resources, tools and location to build our first base. All that's left is to actually build it. But first, you'll want to make sure you understand how the hard side and soft side of walls and doorways work before placing them down. As for the hard side and soft side of your walls, you'll want to correctly learn which is which so you don't end up making the mistake of having the soft side facing outwards so the raiders can easily break it down. You can also rotate the walls when initially placed down by the hammer, if you did place them down incorrectly. But they can only be rotated for a short amount of time after placing them down. So when you go to place the walls, you'll want the hard side of the wall facing outside, while the soft side should be facing towards you. This can be done by placing the structures from the inside of the base, since by default the soft side will be facing you when first placing the wall down. I will give you two options for different size bases to build depending on your group size and current available resources. The first option will work for solos, groups with less resources, or a group that doesn't care about space and just wants to save on resources. This building will be a 1x2 with a triangle airlock. The exact resource cost of this base will be 3,345 stones and 557 wood, but you'll also need to get additional wood for doors later on. Start by placing the foundations down with the triangle foundation at the end of the building. Once the foundations are down, start placing the walls and doorways. As for the doorway, you'll want to place it down on the triangle foundation. This will be our airlock which is used to slow or stop people if they're trying to raid us. Take some time to think about which side the doorway should be on and how easy it will be for someone to hide or camp it. Once you have the walls and doorways down, begin placing the floors to cover up your base. If you just want to have a base with more room or require more room for your larger group, this next base design might be your pick. This building will be a 2x2 two two with a triangle airlock. The exact resource cost of this base will be 4,845 stones and 807 wood, with additional wood needed for the extra doors. Start like before placing down the foundations, but this time you'll want to add an additional two on the side. Next place the walls around the base and doorways on the triangle airlock to slow or stop people from raiding us just like the other design. 
Lastly, you want to place the floors above you to completely seal it off. Now you have a 2x2 base with more room than the other design, with a penalty of a higher cost to build and upkeep. Now it's time to upgrade our base. Once the base's framework has been placed down, you'll want to pull out your hammer and hold right click on the building pieces. This will allow you to upgrade the base to a higher tier of material. Ideally, you'll want to upgrade the base to stone, but if you do not have the resources for a stone base, you can always upgrade it to a wood base for now. You now should have a completely upgraded base for whatever design you went with. All that's needed now is a door to stop people from walking in. You'll want to craft two wooden doors and two key locks. Place the first door down so the door will open towards you in the base. Next, place a key lock on the wooden door and hold E on it to select the option to lock it. Place your second wooden door down so it opens outwards towards the airlock. This will make it so if you accidentally get killed with all your doors open, the raiders still can't get into your base. So you finally have a safe and secure base to hide in, for now. Ultimately, you're gonna wanna upgrade that wooden door to a sheet metal door, since the wooden door can very easily be raided with some beginner tools. So what you're going to wanna do is build a furnace so you can cook some metal to build that sheet metal door. A furnace will cost 200 stones, 100 wood and 50 low grade fuel. Once you have the furnace, you'll want to place some wood and metal ore into it to start cooking metal fragments. Wait until you have 150 metal fragments and build yourself the sheet metal door. To replace your wooden door, hold E on the lock and remove it. When the lock is removed, you can hold E on the door to pick it up. If you are a solo, a key lock will be fine to use, but if you're in a group, Think about later upgrading to a code lock so everyone in the group can open the door without needing the owner with the key. Now you have a safe door down and a furnace, you'll want to craft the tool cupboard so your building doesn't decay. You can watch my upkeep and tool cupboard guide for further information on how the tool cupboard and decay system works so your building doesn't get destroyed. But overall, the tool cupboard will stop other people from building a base close to yours and will tax you the resources which it costs to build your base to stop the building from decaying. The tool cupboard will also allow you to demolish placed building parts within its radius. This makes it easier to expand and fix mistakes when building. You will now want to start placing some chests within your base to hold your loot and sleeping bag so you can respawn back into your base if you die. With the sleeping bag, you can also hold E on it to give it to a friend if you want them to respawn into your base. The sleeping bag will also have an additional 5 minute cooldown timer on it when it's first placed down, so your friends can't instantly spawn up into your base. Gather the resources necessary to build your first base. Build the tools for the base's construction. Find a good location to build the first base and later move on to a bigger and better base. Make sure you understand what side of the walls is the soft side and hard side. Decide which type of first base you'll want to build, the smaller base or the larger one. Place the framework down and upgrade it to stone, or wood if you're lacking the resources. Build and place the doors to prevent raiders from coming in. Place a furnace down to cook up metal fragments to build a better door. Install a tool cupboard into your base to stop raiders from building outside and to stop your building from decaying. And finally, place down your chest to store your loot in a sleeping bag to spawn back into. I hope this video has helped you build your first base and learn a bit more about the building system and how to survive. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.